Nurses are not average people in average jobs. We are much more than our job descriptions. We are experts, innovators, motivators, and supporters. We are a caring touch. We are a smile at just the right moment. Because we see the world through our patients' eyes first. And that's where it begins. Because of the advances of modern medicine, so many of the children are alive today. My work is to help transition them to um, an adult care provider that they can know and trust just like they do us. The process for transition, it can take several years and they don't have to be afraid anymore. They know there's a plan, they know who the person is that will help them. What's unique about our program is we have the nurse care coordinator that is taking the lead. We have promised our families that we will hold their hand, that they're not alone during this process. My goal is that they can advocate for themselves. To me, that's a successful transition. It's a challenging time to provide health care. You really have to just find a place that's the heart comes first, and then the, the business part of health care comes second. And we're so fortunate that at Children's Hospital Colorado, that that's how we are, and that's who we are. Children's Hospital Colorado is that place where your ideas are valued and you are empowered to do more. Kid Street is a outpatient rehab and educational center for kids zero to four years old and they receive nursing care, therapy care, and educational services while they're with us. Um, we're a very multidisciplinary team so how are these roles overlapping, who's doing what, is that okay what time of day do we want to really be you know to let the nurses focus on truly their nursing tasks so that they can make sure that these kids are ready and, and safe for the day. So our nurses need to be able to look at these kids head to toe. We need to get them their meds and their feeds going and things like that. Let's really try to protect that time for the nurses to be able to do that. And then later in the day, leave a little bit more uninterrupted time for our therapists and ed education team to come in and really focus that time on therapy and education. This was a pretty big change. I think children just supports, supports us asking the questions and and, and trying new things to make better outcomes for staff and for our kids. Here, we think differently and we act differently. I've been really excited about the North Campus expansion that's going on right now. Um, we'll be turning from an urgent care into an official emergency department. A path that we're looking at more is how can we get nurses more involved in shared governance. And this is kind of a little piece of a bigger piece. And by having nurses involved in the little pieces, it actually lets them see shared governance in action. So we all sat down with this big map and we had a scenario in front of us. We had nurses, doctors, techs, and we had free reign to walk in and go, do you like this here? Does this cabinet work here? Do you want a shelf here? Does the sink work here? It's helped me to know that my choices and my ideas can help make a big difference in the life of a patient. You do sometimes realize that you're not just a little voice, that you actually do have a big voice. Each of us has a voice. We are present and engaged. We get everything from an emergent call, life-threatening call, down to not so severe, but what should I do? I mean, historically, because we only have that non-visual communication, there's a lot of things that we can't see over the phone and that parents can't communicate to us. We needed to figure out a way that they can share more information because technology is better. We need to be able to tap into that technology. We worked with our software vendor and they can be able to actually have a HIPAA compliant way for them to send that information to us. So then we could actually see what they were seeing and have that visual and sometimes auditory, we can actually hear what was happening at the time that they were concerned. We are actually able to share this information so other triage nurses, other children's hospitals can start using this and become more comfortable to help in their triage also. So I expect a lot more pediatric triage nurses will be able to use this across the country. To achieve service excellence, we do some heavy lifting to remove barriers. 
70% of first responders in Colorado are actually volunteers. So when you call 911, you expect them to know what to do. And many times, they don't always know what to do or they're not always comfortable doing that. So we have a really cool educational tool. It's our pediatric simulation trailer. And in the back of it, it is kind of mocked up like the back of an ambulance. And then we have kind of a family of mannequins and we really try to simulate those high stress scenarios that they may encounter so that they can actually practice the skills that are necessary to take care of those kids. If they don't have the right equipment, we try to make sure that they get it or that they have an outdated protocol or outdated knowledge base. We try to really take that to them in the moment at the practice level so they can practice those skills and we can really try to help minimize their stress when they have to go when it really counts. So our goal is to find those providers. What is it that we need to do to empower them that they're able to take care of those kids in the moment that it really matters most? We are a transformational change. This is our culture. I right now have three schools, roughly 3,000, 3,500 kids that I oversee. I think a lot of people don't know that there aren't school nurses in every building other than a select few in the state of Colorado. So the model provides that, that nursing care, that supervision of the health aides in the building. These are salt of the earth people who want to be there in the school. They're making very little money and they're with these kids day in and day out. But, but there's that trust factor, right? So you need to know that I can turn my kid over to the school knowing that somebody's there to take care of them. And so not just the health aides, it's, it's my job to train the teacher. It's my job to train the janitor. It's that partnership, right? It's that, that partnership between children's, between the family, between the school, between the school counselor. By being able to make these connections and these relationships, I can make a difference every day in the lives of so many students. Every day, we strive to improve pediatric care for each and every single kiddo in our communities. being able to care for those who cannot care for themselves. I love being a nurse here at Children's Hospital Colorado. You know you're doing good work and you're doing it with people that love their job and I know I just got chills thinking about it. The kids, in spite of whatever it is that they're dealing with, they um, they laugh, they love, they play. That's life. That's awesome. <laughs>